things must come to an end? Um, it's, only, it's only the ending of a chapter, but it's not the ending of a book. Okay, so there are many, many more chapters yet to be written and yet to be experienced. So it's not bittersweet when I think about it here. But when I know what the vision is, it only brings more excitement as to what's next. What's the vision? That's going to be shared in the concert. Now listen, MJ, there was a vision that took place some time ago, 2008. And it's coming to pass now. So it's like in 2008 when I got it, I didn't understand what is, why, but it happened. And then in the, after my bypass and everything, I started thinking about that vision. And then slowly, the events that were taking place were lining up with what that vision was. And needless to say, there was, not, there was a lot of uh, tugging and, you know, as to, yeah, but you can't call it one last time. Why don't you call it, uh, why don't you call it, it's time? Or why don't you call it the last big one? And I said, no, I, if, if I don't live up, if I don't follow what I was led to do, then, I, and I'm doing it for me, it's not really, it's not, I have to go with what I was led to do. So, so what made you decide that it's okay? Okay, well, for one thing, I am 59 years old, okay? And if there's one thing I don't want, it's in two years' time or three years' time when I again have a concert at the Coliseum or the MOA, people are like this, but they notice. Or it's like, ah, oh, magaling siya, feel I still can. Then I'll do it one last time in that big a scale. Now, if I go back, let's say I go, let's say I have another concert next year. Moa. Oh, I thought it last time. But it probably won't be solo. It would be a back-to-back. If I did something, let's say, with Bamboo, or with Julian San Jose, or with Sarah G, or that I can do, or with Ben and Ben, a back-to-back thing, kaya. So how big will it be, that Araneta show? You mean this one? Arena. The arena, the Moa Arena show, it will be big. It will be big. Um, hmm? Yeah, I think so. Recently, I finished a series of shows called the Back at the Museum, you know, where we had, I think, 12 shows it was. And it was so good because uh, it was more intimate, which I feel is where I'm going to head to, you know. I'll still do concerts. I'll still go all out, but in much more intimate moments. Like, for example, if we had a press conference like this, let's say we gathered, no? But there were hundreds of you. How hard for me to really look at you one by one and talk to you and make it an intimate affair. When I did the Music Museum, which was in a smaller venue, it was so intimate that people came back to watch it the third time, the fourth time, and there were only 12 shows. So parang, that's all part of the, the whole vision thing. So uh, this one will probably be not just the biggest, but maybe even the longest. Because we're going to try and give people as many of the songs that they've come to know. Uh, what will you be, what, what will you be uh, performing in which of the songs? That... Well, I don't usually spill the beans, uh-huh. you know, but if you just look at my, if you look at your personal favorites of my songs, Malamang is going to be part of the lineup. Uh, but there will be other songs, like uh, there will be old songs that... Uh, it's a 40-year career. Yeah. I've had 38 albums released or something like that. How can you do every song, di ba? So, Paolo, who's my director, sa mga meetings namin, and every time we're looking at the repertoire, uh, what about that song? How do we... No, no, let's keep that. Yeah, but what about that? Uh, then everybody's like, no, we can't. But Paolo's always reminding us, listen, guys, it may be the last time na, of this scale, but it won't be the last time Dad is performing. So, we have to sacrifice some songs, but it won't. There'll be other opportunities for him to do some of the other songs. In, in your more than four decades of uh, as a performer, what do you consider outstanding highlights? <laughs> okay, the highlights. One highlight is when you see the instant reactions of people in a concert. 
Okay, that's one highlight. It's there's no take two. So it's one take. You've done all the work. You've done the rehearsals. So now it's time to enjoy the fruit of your labor. So when I'm out there and I'm performing, sweating and all, and everything, then you hear and see the instant reaction. That's highlight after highlight. Not of one show, but of every song that I do per show. So if I have a show of maybe, let's say, 16 songs, okay? All the songs are highlights. And then when you talk and when you see people and then the way they react, that's another highlight. Then you get feedback via... Uh, uh, I, I get messages kasi on Instagram. Eh. They, people are accessed. So even a small concert, like let's say a corporate show. Corporate show. You go... Eh, and I come out there and I do it. Then you see the feedback. Sir, ang dami mong kinanta, pero yung isa na kinanta mo, you know, whether it's I will be here, or, or, uh, wag ka nang umiyak, or what. Sir, yun talaga, yun ang talaga. Those are highlights for me. Okay. Uh, aside from the highlights, there are those unforgettable moments, unforgettable uh, uh, performances, yung mga nangyari, Okay. This this one highlight is one that's coming out in a book because I'll be uh, we're we're putting together stories. Uh, right now we're at forty stories to celebrate forty years. No, but there's one story I'll share with you. Na I'll go in, in in extreme detail later on in the book. But this one was it was before my very first concert forty years ago at the Araneta Coliseum. It was called A-Live. You know, Gary V. A-Live. A-Live. Uh, April 13, 1984. It was in the middle of a controversy because Angeli was pregnant. And two weeks prior to the concert, the news came out, Valenciano, he's going to become an unwed father because we were not married. And there were three faces there. It was Raymond Lauchenko, my face, and Martin Yevera on the tabloid. And I remember, it was the, in a press conference, Ricky Law, the late Ricky Law. So, is it true? And of course, I had to sit down there at the age of 19 and, and tell them, um, yeah, it's true. Uh, uh, yeah, the, the I, all the... At, at that time, wala pang phone, phones, diba? So all of them with their pens, it's true. You see all the heads down like that and they're all writing, you know. And then the comments. But aren't you afraid that your fans are going to turn away from you? What are you going to do? What's your plan kung mangyari yun? So I remember before, before that press conference, nagkaroon kami ng meeting. And it was my management team, sina Sandra Chavez, uh, other people were there and they were all talking, okay, dun sa press con para sa concert, syempre tatanungin siya ng ganito, di ba ka ganito? Baka si Angeli, we can send her to the States to be with the family until she has the baby or maybe she can go to her cousins in Australia, have the baby. Para sa ganon, at least there's no... Ah, ah. Until my sister said, wait, why don't we ask Gary what he wants? And I was just there, in 19, 18 years old, looking at everything and then uh, they asked me, what do you want to do? And I said, let's just tell... Let's just tell the media kung ano man ang katotohanan. If it works, if the concert is successful, then okay. Let's make that the gauge. Kung may tao, di okay. Kung wala, oh, then let's pack up and go. At least it's claro na we'll use that concert as a gauge. Fast forward, concert day. At that time, my, my spirituality was nowhere where it is now. No? So I was like, come, let's pray. Amen. Ganyan, ganyan. And then Gina, my sister. She's in the States now. Gina comes in crying. This was before I step out on stage. I said, Gina, why? What's wrong? We're sold out. I said, what? We're sold out. I said, oh, okay. At that time, malay ko ba kung ano ang itsura ng Araneta Coliseum na sold out? It's my first time to perform at the Araneta Coliseum. And I came from the bleachers. And the way to go up there, I had to pass by the people outside. So sinara yung ilaw, Eh dito, di ba, pag sinara yung ilaw ng concert, ah! at that time, parang a lot of people who went were either fans or curious. So I went up to the bleachers 
I was passing people and there was no reaction. Na, Uy, sika! And I walked all the way up there and then the song began. The, the, the title of the song, of the opening number of that concert was a, co- was a song called Brand New Day. So it was like, that's the only time, MJ. And they came out with me and we did that song. Can you feel a brand new day? That's a most unforgettable experience that in the start of my career even if there was a controversy of how crazy I was then to get my girlfriend pregnant there was an even crazier plan that God had in giving me a sellout concert and the way he told me was I'm gonna make it sold out and you're going to stay because you're going to have a long time in the industry and 40 years later here I am 